Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In November 2020, Indian Navy had leased two MQ-9 UAVs to enhance its surveillance capability over the Indian Ocean region. The MQ-9s have also been deployed near LSE when the Indo-China standoff was at its peak. The Indian Navy used MQ-9 drones and Boeing PTI multi-mission aircraft to scan the entire 3044 km line of actual control with China to understand the military preparation made by PLA. Now this has given the Indian military a clear idea of Chinese army's plans and capabilities. On November 22, 2022, the 2MQ9 RPA that was on lease has completed its 10,000 flight hours in exactly two years with maiden flight of MQ-9A taking place on 21st November 2020. The armed forces are impressed with MQ-9's over-the-horizon ISR support for surface troops and Indian warship as well as platform's remarkable endurance and operational availability. The UAV was initially leased for a year but has been extended subsequently. Now, currently, Indian Navy uses MQ-9 RPA for maritime surveillance from the Gulf of Aden to Sunda Strait in Indonesia. These RPAs have helped Indian Navy to cover over 14 million square miles of operating area with its wide range of sensors, high endurance and low operating cost. The MQ-9 can prove to be a complementary system for navies, air force and army operating as a maritime patrol aircraft or for the border surveillance. Though some national security planners feel that the Predator armed drone is prohibitively expensive and find US-made Boeing PTI aircraft sufficient for the job. However, Indian military planners want a mix of both armed and surveillance drone for country-specific missions. We also know that the operational cost of MQ-9 RPA is much less than that of PTIs. Till March 2022, the PTIs were able to accumulate 35,000 flight hours since they were inducted in the year 2013. However, only two MQ-9 UAVs have accumulated 10,000 flight hours in just two years. So if Navy goes ahead with procurement of these RPAs, it will greatly boost its maritime surveillance capabilities. As per latest reports from Hindustan Times, after conducting detailed operations research system analysis or ORSA, the Indian Armed Forces have pared down the requirement for acquisition of US MQ-9B Predator High Altitude Long Endurance Armed Drones from 30 to 18 platforms and have projected their necessity to the Narendra Modi government. Instead of each of three services acquiring 10 Predator drones, each will now acquire six, which will include for Army, Air Force and Navy. The deal after approval from government will be done with US on a government to government basis. Ahead of the anticipated deal, General Atomics has inked deal with Indian companies in recent month. The HAL will provide maintenance, repair and overhaul services for the drone's engine. The American company and Indian conglomerate Bharat Forge will jointly manufacture some of its landing gear components and other small parts. At the same time, the National Technical Research Organization NTRO, which is a technical intelligence agency under National Security Advisory in Prime Minister's office, will soon acquire eight Indian manufactured male, that is medium altitude, long endurance drones for border surveillance and reconnaissance. This is most likely going to be tapas under development by ADE and HAL. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.